it folks, it's Glenn the Ball Chef and tonight I'm going to be putting together a American classic Chinese chicken and broccoli. Now you may have attempted to uh, cook this at home or you've often had it at a Chinese restaurant and you wondered when you cooked it at home why the chicken didn't quite have the same tenderness uh, that the chicken has in a Chinese restaurant and why the sauce and everything just didn't come together the same way that it's done in a Chinese restaurant. And when it comes to those two things, I'm going to show you in this video how to put together the way uh, chicken and broccoli is done in a Chinese restaurant. So that you can do this at home, it's easy to do, and I'm going to show you the steps that are involved in putting this uh, Chinese dish together. The first step is to make sure when you cut your chicken that you cut it into very thin symmetrical strips and if you buy the chicken from the grocery store you and you might want to put it in the freezer for about a half an hour it makes it a lot easier to slice it up thin like that so what we're going to do is we're going to take these chicken breast slices that are sliced very thin very symmetrically and what we're going to do is we're going to marinate these for about a half an hour and what we do is we marinate this in egg white two egg whites two tablespoons of rice wine and a tablespoon of baking soda. And what this does is it basically tenderizes the chicken. I'm going to thoroughly mix these ingredients around and just set these out, bring them up so that they're you know, still cool. But uh, so if you stick them into the hot oil, it's not going to just make the oil cold and they'll they'll fry up real fast and that will keep the chicken very very tender and very very silky so what we'll do is set these aside and then I'll show you the next step which is preparing the uh, stir fry sauce so many times you've been to different ch Chinese carryouts sometimes they're good sometimes they're not so good uh, I think what makes they're using the same ingredients for these uh, different Chinese recipes. I guess they all have the same recipe. I mean, every single time I see them to go into a Chinese restaurant, they have the same thing on the menu. Probably some guy that just puts the menus together for them, they just cook the food. But what makes the difference really is what they call their house sauce. And this is my recipe for my house sauce. I use a little bit of fresh ginger, uh, a couple cloves of, of garlic, uh, about a quarter cup of soy sauce. Obviously this is not going to be all used in this recipe. This is something I would keep in my refrigerator for a week or two that uh, I could uh, use for various dishes. And then uh, I, I like to put a little bit of uh, oyster sauce in there. About two tablespoons. And uh, then I use some rice wine, about three uh, tablespoons or so. And then what I do on that is I put the lid on this and then I just thoroughly pulverize the ginger and uh, the garlic. After I've done that, Obviously, I've emulsified this so it looks a little foamy, but once it sets, it actually does uh, take on a soy sauce looking uh, appearance. I usually put in uh, two or three Szechuan uh, uh, chili corns, and uh, then I just basically tease that out with a little bit of uh, roasted uh, sesame seed. Now, this, this needs to really set up and marinate for a day or two before you can use it, but uh, this does make an excellent stir-fry sauce. Those chili uh, corns are not going to overpower anything. Uh, it just gives a little bit added taste and flavor to the sauce. And this is my recipe for my house sauce or my stir-fry sauce that I use in my uh, chicken and broccoli. So let's go to the next step and put this dish together. Alright, the next step in our process of putting together our chicken and broccoli, we want to blanch off of our uh, broccoli and some boiling water. We'll do this for about uh, a minute or two and then we'll take the spite of that and get this uh, blanched broccoli out. Okay our broccoli is now al dente. We'll take the spider, we'll remove it from the boiling water. Don't, certainly don't want to overcook this. Totally ruin this 
chicken and broccoli dish. We've got that all scooped out of there. And now we're going to go to the next step, which is actually putting together this broccoli chicken stir fry. Okay, we've got our wok on high. We're going to put a little bit of uh, cooking oil in there, just about a tablespoon and a half. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put some garlic in there, chopped garlic. And we're going to go ahead and then put in. So far, it's around until the uh, chicken is uh, thoroughly cooked. And I'll show you the, uh, the next step in the process. Alright, as you can see here, the chicken is now cooked, but not overcooked. We'll return the broccoli to the stir fry. And at this point, what we're going to do, we're just going to mix the ingredients thoroughly. And then we're going to take our house sauce and we're going to put in about uh, three tablespoons of the sauce there. And then we'll, we'll stir that around, make sure that that's thoroughly infused into our chicken and broccoli. And then the final step is we've taken a little bit of uh, cornstarch and water that will make a little bit of a gravy, give a little silkiness to it, and uh, let that come up to a boil. All right, as you can see now, that we put the uh, cornstarch and water in there, we made a nice little gravy. We can take this off the stove, plate it up, we'll see how this stuff tastes. All right, it's Glenn the Ball Chef. We just completed making our uh, chicken and broccoli Chinese style. Take a piece of this chicken, silky tender, house sauce is spot on. Uh, give this recipe a try folks, I think you'll find it quite tasty, normally serve this with rice. It's Glenn the Ball Chef, thanks for watching and as always, bon appetit.